An anal fissure is a cut or a tear in the anal canal, in the muscle, the control muscles of the anal canal. What can happen either with too much constipation or a lot of diarrhea, you have tearing as the bowel movement comes out. I like to tell my patients that an anal fissure is kind of like having a cut over here in the middle of the winter, and every time you go to eat a sandwich, it reopens and recuts, causing pain. The same thing can happen with bowel movements. You have a cut or a tear in the lining of the anus, and then what happens is every time you go to have a bowel movement, it can kind of recut or tear. In addition to constipation and diarrhea, anal fissures may also be caused by inflammatory bowel disease or trauma to the area, and occasionally it can also be caused by infection. Symptoms in anal fissure are generally pain and bleeding are the most common th um, symptoms people present with. Bleeding may occur during a bowel movement or after a bowel movement and may feel like a cutting or tearing as the bowel movement occurs. Bleeding may also occur on the toilet paper or in the toilet bowl. Occasionally people can may feel a little mass or a little what feels like a hemorrhoid as well and oftentimes people come to my office complaining of hemorrhoids and actually have anal fissures. Treatment of an anal fissure generally starts off with control of bowel movements. I recommend that patients, if they have constipation, get rid of the constipation. The easiest way to do that is to add fiber and water to your diet. In addition, although we all try to eat enough fiber, it can be difficult to do. Adding a fiber supplementation um, is often helpful in order to make sure that those bowel movements are soft. Stool softeners can also be useful. In addition, other helpful treatments may be warm water soaks or sitz baths, and topical pain medication can also be helpful. Your colorectal surgeon may also prescribe medications that help to relax the control muscles and make bowel movements easier, such as diltiazem, nifedipine, or nitroglycerin. These are available in a cream and can be used several times a day before bowel movements to help relax the muscle and make bowel movements easier. If medical treatments for your fissure fail, your colorectal surgeon may recommend a surgical treatment. There are a couple options for this. The first is botulinum toxin, or Botox, which can be injected into the control muscles and help to relax the muscles. Your surgeon may also recommend a lateral internal sphincterotomy, or cutting of some of the control muscle. This treatment has the highest chance of success, but also has a small risk of having leakage or incontinence afterwards, and is only recommended when medical treatments fail. A fissure may take a while to heal, if you're using medical management, it may take as long as six to 10 weeks for symptoms to completely resolve. If symptoms continue, such as bleeding, you may want to see your physician again to ensure that there isn't something else going on. After surgery, although the pain is usually diminished immediately, some of the bleeding and other symptoms may take longer, such as a week or two, to resolve. Fissures are often cyclical. What can happen is that you feel better for a period of time and then have a hard bowel movement or more diarrhea and the fissure can come back. We think that part of the reason this may happen is that the blood supply to the area of the control muscle isn't as good. When we relax that control muscle with medications, that can help get better blood supply and allow that area to heal. Colon and rectal surgeons are experts in the surgical and non-surgical treatment of diseases of the colon, rectum, and anus. We have completed advanced surgical training in the treatment of these diseases as well as full general surgical training. Board certified colon and rectal surgeons complete residencies in general surgery and colon and rectal surgery and pass intensive examinations conducted by the American Board of Surgery and the American Board of Colon and Rectal Surgery. We are well versed in the treatment of both benign and malignant diseases of the colon, rectum, and anus and are able to perform routine screening examinations and surgically treat conditions if indicated to do so.